Hey, welcome to another episode of Hack a Week. This week I've got a little engineering to do here around the house, a couple problem solving things, and I thought I'd share it with you. First of all, it's this darn gate. Um, when I put this in, I had to deal with the chickens, so the wire is up high like that, and I did it in a hurry and didn't extend the gate all the way up. So you have to duck to go underneath the gate, and not only that, it likes to go like this out of parallel. It needs some work. So I'm going to turn it into a full size gate, like a door and uh, then I can get my kayak in the backyard easier and I also need a place to store my kayak so I'm gonna make a rack along that fence over there to put my kayak on but the first order of business is to fix this darn gate so let's get going on that let's take a look at what the problem is here no cross support at all it's got some wimpy little angle brackets here in the corner that really doesn't do much to keep the gate really stiff so the first thing I need to do is shim this up on the bottom and then I'm going to put a cross brace from the top to the bottom and that will help hold the gate up and keep it in parallel. Then I'll add to it and attach some chicken wire up here and then I also need to put some uprights right here to keep this fence uh, attached to something so it stays upright. <clears throat> okay I've got the gate shimmed up right there with a brick and it's a little above level, which is okay because it's probably going to sag a tiny bit. So now I've got this board pre-cut for that corner. So I'll set it down in that corner. And then go up here to the other one and mark where to cut it. Now I go cut this corner. Got the board cut and I drilled a few pilot holes so that I don't split the wood when I put it on the gate. Let's get it mounted up. go let's take the brick out and see just how much the gate settles now not very much just a tiny bit and if we put the level up here yeah it's almost level now great now we get to add the top section and I'll also reinforce that as I build it before we move on to the uprights there's one more thing I just fixed on this that I found really annoying it was set up so that the gate swung this way. There's a problem with that, is the land slopes uphill here so the gate kept hitting the ground and then the chickens when they forage around here and dig up all this pine straw and dirt, they would pack it up against the gate. Every time I go to open the gate I'd have to come in here and clean everything out. So now it swings downhill much easier and it's got better hinges on the other side. So big upgrade there. Now let's get cracking on this upright stuff. And there it is, complete. Not a bad looking gate, extended upwards so the chickens can't get over it and the dogs as well. So this piece in the middle is recycled. This chicken wire and uh, these pieces right here came from the old chicken coop I had when I moved down here. I brought all those pieces with me and I put a much more secure hasp on there that I can put a lock on. It just twists like this to open up. And it's going to be a lot easier to uh, get in and out of this gate. I have to bring feed bags back here for the chickens and stuff like that and dog food. And it's a lot easier when I don't have to bend down and go under that gate. I lived here for a year and finally got around to taking care of this. Let's see how easy it is to pull the kayak through there now. That is a lot easier to open. much better. So come on in the backyard now and I'll show you what I did to hang up the kayak. It's actually a really simple solution. Alright, now that I have a gate that I can walk through much easier, I can store the kayak out here in the backyard and it's going to go right here along this fence. 
and the goals of putting it up were to get it off the ground, away from the snakes and bugs, to also get it out of the sunshine. Don't want to store plastic kayaks in the direct sun all the time. That's not good for any plastic. And to put it on something in a way where it doesn't have any pressure points that could possibly distort the plastic over a long storage like for winter. So what I've done here is put a couple of hooks on the fence and a few straps. And I'll give you a little bit closer shot of those now. My kayak is a 10 foot mallard model made by Trinity Bay Boatworks here in North Carolina. And I'm going to store it right here on the fence between these two hooks. I've got a hook mounted there and a hook mounted there. They're 64 inches apart and I've got some straps on there, just uh, some straps you can find at just about any hardware store with a simple buckle on them. And the idea is I put the bow in first on that strap, raise up the stern, hook it on that strap and there it is up against the fence and off the ground with the cockpit side toward the fence keeping things out and hopefully the chickens won't roost on it. Alright, let's get it mounted up there. Okay, here we go. Let me get the front strap in first. I'll work my way back to the stern. Grab the strap, hook it on the other hook, give it a little turn so it's out of the weather. Get the strap centered up a bit here. There it is. High and dry. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, that's it for this week. We've uh, covered rebuilding a gate and how to hang your kayak on a fence in your backyard. So that's pretty good. We got a two for one this week. Not really that exciting of a hack, but hey, it's just a home project I had to get done and I thought I'd share it with you. So if any of you out there have a gate that's fallen apart and a little wonky, now you know how to fix it. And if you have a kayak, you know how to make a simple storage for it. So until next time, keep on hacking.